Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ng different application of set using Venn diagram. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. So dito sa example 1, involve tayo ng isang class na pwedeng i-divide into two sets. In a class of 55 students, 35 ang nagpasa ng assignment 1, pwedeng yun ang set 1, tapos 48 past assignment 2, or yun yung set 2. We have to use a Venn diagram to illustrate the situation and to answer question A, how many of the students passed neither of the two assignments? Ibig sabihin, wala, walang pinasa. Hindi assignment 1 at hindi assignment 2 ang ipinasa. At letter B, how many students passed both assignment 1 at 2? At ilan naman yung nakapagpasa ng pareho? Una niyong mapapansin yung 35 at yung 48. Kapag inad natin yung 35 at 48, this will result to 83. At ang 83 ay sobra-sobra sa 55. So in order to correctly do the Venn diagram, itong 83 na to, di ba, inad natin yung sa assignment 1 at sa assignment 2. Yung sobra sa 55, yun yung magsisilbing na sa intersection nila. So bago natin isolve yun, labelan muna natin. Yung rectangle, yun yung magsiserve as the universal set. Tapos, ito, pwedeng sabihin nating set A. Tapos, ito yung set B. Talagyan natin ng numbers yung mga yan. Okay. So, itong 83, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, nung inad natin yung 35 at 48, ang ibig sabihin kasi ng 35, 35 yung buong circle na to, ng A. Tapos, yung 48 yung buong circle ng B. So, Pag inad natin sila 83, ibig sabihin 83 minus 55, meron tayong 28. 28 students ang nabilang natin ng doble. Ibig sabihin, nabilang na natin sila sa A, nabilang pa natin sila sa B. Kaya pwede natin sabihin na yung 28, yun yung kanyang intersection. Yun yung sobra kapag pinag-add mo yung 35 at 48. So again, this is the intersection of A and B. So, paano naman malaman yung A only? Sa 35, kaya yung tinatawag natin na A minus the intersection, ang gagawin natin dito, yung full na 35, tatanggalin natin doon yung intersection na 28. Ang matitira na lang ay 7. Kaya ito ay 7. For B only, or yung pinatawag natin na B minus its intersection, we have 48 minus 28, this is 20. So, ito ay 20. Now, just to double check kung nagamit natin lahat, we have 7 plus 28, that's 35, plus 20, that is 55. So, ibig sabihin, Lahat ng students nakapagpasa naman. Ang ilalagay natin dito sa labas or sa pinaka-complement, yung part ng universal set, is zero. So we can now answer the question using this Venn diagram. How many students pass neither? Pag sinabing neither, nasa labas ng union. Itong nandito sa part ng complement. And in that case, we have zero. So, there is no student who passed neither of the two assignments. And how many students passed both assignment 1 at 2? Sa natin yung titingnan? Definitely dito sa 28. 28 students passed both assignment 1 and 2, yung intersection nila. Ganyan tayo gumawa ng two-circle Venn diagram. Sa susunod na example, three-circle Venn diagram naman tayo. Meron tayong 40 students na in-interview about day food na palagi nilang binibili sa kantin. At ito yung mga data na nag-gather. 20 students ay umu-order ng sandwich, 20 ordered fries, 18 ordered burger, 6 ordered sandwich and fries, 10 ay burger at fries, 11 ay burger at sandwich, at 4 ay yung tatlo. So kapag inad natin lahat yan, this will result to 89. 
hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung naging technique natin sa example 1 na ima-minus lang natin yung 40 tapos yung magiging sagot yun yung nasa gitna. This is wrong. Bakit? Kasi tatlo na yung ating choices. Meron na tayong sandwich, fries, and burger. Yung technique na ganito para lang sa two-circle Venn diagram. Pero dito, three-circle na tayo. So ang tanong dito, Construct a Venn diagram to illustrate the situation. So, gawin natin. Yan yung ating given. Tapos, ito yung ating universal set. Tapos, meron tayong tatlong circle. Label natin to as S. That's for sandwich. Ito ay fries. Tapos, ito ay burger. Ang technique dito, magsisimula ka sa pinakagitna yung pinaka-intersection nilang tatlo, going outwards, palabas hanggang sa ma-reach mo yung pinaka-complement nila. Una, we have four students na umorder ng tatlong iyon. So, itong four, pwede natin yung ilagay dito sa pinaka-gitna ng three-circle Venn diagram. Next, itong mga second layer, itong mga nasa pagitan na tingda-dalawa lang. Una, burger and sandwich. 11 daw yung umorder ng burger at ng sandwich. Ito. Pero sa 11 na yon kasama yung 4. So dito, 11 minus 4 tayo. 11 minus 4 is 7. At 7 yung nandito. Double check natin. Burger and sandwich yung kanilang pagitan. 7 plus 4, that's really 11. Ganun din yung gagawin natin sa mga second layers. Dito sa burger and fries, burger and fries, meron daw sampu. Pero sa sampung yun, nabilang na natin yung apat, therefore, six na lang. Kaya dito, six na lang ilalagay natin. Next, dito naman ay sandwich and fries. Anim daw, pero may apat na tayo. Kaya, ang isusulat na lang natin ay six minus four, that's two. Two dito sa ta. Next, 18 students ordered burger. Ditong 18 students, ang ibig sabihin nito yung buong circle ng burger. Hindi lang yung nandito sa labas. Kasi hindi naman sinabing burger only. Kapag sinabing burger only, yun, lalagay natin dito yung 18. Kaso, students ordered burger. So, itong buong circle na to, kailangan daw mag-total sa 18. What we're going to do is we will add the numbers already found inside B. Tapos isusubtract natin siya sa 18. We have 7 plus 4, that is 11. Plus 6, we have 17. 18 minus 17, we have 1. Ibig sabihin, 1 lang yung student na umorder ng burger only. Same goes with fries and sandwich. Pause this video for a while and after 10 seconds, i-reveal natin kung ilan yung umorder ng fries only at ng sandwich only. Do the same process kung ano yung ginawa natin for burger only. So for fries only, Meron tayo sa circle ng fries na 2 at 4 at 6. Ang total nito ay 12. Kaso ang total daw ng umorder ng fries ay 20. So minus 12, that's 8. 8 ngayon ang fries. Next, for sandwich only. Meron tayong 2, 4, at 7 na kapag tinotal, this will result to 13. Pero 20 ang total ng umorder ng sandwich, so we have 7 left. And finally, hindi pa tapos yan, recall na meron pa tayong check for the complement, yung nandito sa labas ng tatlong circle, para ma-check kung lahat ba ng 40 ay sumagot. What we're going to do here is we will add all the numbers here and subtract it from 40. We have 7 plus 2, that is 9, plus 8, that is 17, 
plus 7, that's 24, plus 4, that's 28, plus 6, that's 34, and plus 1, that is 35. Total is 40 minus 35, we have 5. At ito yung complement natin. So yung complement ng S, union F, union B, yung complement niya is 5. So once we're done with the Venn diagram, we can now answer the different set of questions. How many students ordered sandwich and burger but not fries? Sa question B, sandwich and burger, pero hindi kasama ang fries. Ibig sabihin, seven lang. Next, how many students ordered neither of the three options? Kapag neither of the three options, wala dun sa tatlong circle, ibig sabihin, yung nasa labas. Five students ordered neither of the three. How many students ordered burger only? Kapag ordered burger only, hindi mo titingnan yung part ng B na ka-overlap nung dalawa. Ibig sabihin, isa lang. So that's it for the application of sets using two circle and three circle Venn diagram. Thank you for watching. If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video.